So in this presentation I would like to tell you about a tool called Eric. Eric is a conversational agent, you could also say a chatbot, and it allows you to explain the decision behavior of artificial intelligence, specifically machine learning models. And it does that by using commands and questions that are based on natural language. The name of this tool is an acronym for Explainable AI through Rule-Based Interactive Conversation, which is also the name of the paper and we will see later what that means. This work is a result of a master thesis at Münster University in Germany in cooperation with an IT consulting company called VAD. So to really understand why we would need such a tool, I want you to imagine a machine learning classification model that was trained on image data as shown in this slide. At the moment it doesn't really matter what type of model that is, so say we have something like a neural network that is trained on image data about horses. That means for a given input image, the classifier can predict whether the image contains a horse or not. While this in principle is already very informative, there is really nothing more that the network can tell us than horse or no horse. Since the network in this example consists of a huge number of layers and neurons, a human is not able to trace back the decision policy that the machine learning classifier follows. In such a case where a machine learning model is too difficult to understand and we cannot observe the reasons for its decisions, it appears as a black box to us. And even though there are existing performance measures that show how accurate the classifier performs on test data, the true reasons on why or why not the machine learning model classifies horse or no horse remain totally invisible to the user. So for example, the reason why an image is classified as containing a horse might be the existence of a copyright tag in the bottom left corner, which we unfortunately overlooked when training the network. Clearly, that is not the way how a human would recognize a horse in an image, and the appearance of the copyright tag in any image could lead to the classification as an image containing a horse. The technique you just saw, which was highlighting the most important pixels in an image, sort of a heat map, it is part of a toolkit that falls under the term of explainable artificial intelligence, also explainable AI. Explainable AI provides a huge range of techniques that can be applied on a machine learning model. It aims to make a model more transparent and understandable for a user by producing information that show how the model behaves and it poses a great opportunity to find reliance and generate trust in black box decision making. Now, the existing techniques in explainable AI, they sort of differ in terms of what type of information they provide. For example, you can have local explanations of the machine learning model with an algorithm called Lime that tries to mimic the neighborhood of a given prediction value by simple linear approximations. Or you can have feature importance that show how big the impact on the prediction value is when having changes in a specific feature. Or you can have counterfactual explanations that tell you how to change your data values to get a certain prediction outcome. There are really a lot of techniques available in open source projects. However, what all methods have in common is that they currently only apply in some programming environment, such as in a Jupyter notebook, which is not accessible or understandable for everyone, especially those people that might not trust computer-generated decisions yet. Maybe these are people that have not been building machine learning models yet, but still they have to decide if such models are applied in some business scenario. So the question here is how to design a human computer interface around these techniques for explainable AI, considering that the people who use it might not be the programmers or they might not be experienced in the AI field. And what helps us in this case is theory from social science, namely a view on how explanations occur in natural interactions between humans. So one view in social science is to define and differentiate an explanation as a process from explanation as a product. For this, we can think of an explanation as an interaction between two parties, the explainee who asks for an explanation and the explainer who replies on that request. We are talking about the explanation process when talking about the conversation that the explainee engages when the explainee wants to understand some action and continuously requests information from the explainer. 
That is basically what we mean when we say someone explains something to someone. It is a multi-step and iterative process and not a single shot. And we are talking about an explanation as a product when we mean a proposition, typically in linguistic format, that constitutes the specific answer to a person's explanation request. Now, what this theory on explanations shows us is that the tool through which explanations are generated and transmitted must first of all support an interactive and continuous experience, as that is what a conversation is like between the two parties. Also, it must support a mechanism for precise information selection and appropriate formatting of the explanation, such that the answer of the explainer fits to the particular request. So, the question now is what type of human computer interface is able to select the specific pieces of information and transmit them in an interactive fashion to the user. And the specific interface that we are proposing in this work for the explainable AI context is a conversational agent which takes the form of a chatbot. So the conversational agent that we implemented, its name is Eric, and the idea behind Eric is that you can have an interactive conversation about a machine learning model and that Eric sort of explains the behavior of that model to you by replying to the specific questions that you ask it. So what Eric basically does is it applies different techniques from explainable AI to a machine learning model and then uses the results to answer questions asked by the user. In literature, these questions are known as intelligibility types, which are intelligible constructs that form a query paradigm, which is derived from questions users of intelligent systems often ask. So Eric stores this mapping between explainable AI techniques and question types that fit to these as expert knowledge. And we will see later how it does that. What I actually want to do now is show you how the Eric agent performs. So we will have a short live demo on that. Eric was equipped with a trained support vector machine on the famous Titanic dataset. And the Titanic dataset contains passenger data from the Titanic accident. And the target variable is whether a passenger survived or not. So here you can see the Eric interface and what you would usually want to start with is making a first prediction. And for that I must provide some data values. So I type into this chat input field and um, it constantly filters the available system function that match this keyword. And what I want to do is I want to make a prediction. And once executing this function, it will ask us for um, providing data values for the features of the machine learning model. So in this case, um, we are going with a young female person that traveled first class. Um, and you can see that Eric constantly checks whether our input in the chat field is valid. Um, so, for example, I cannot type a string here. I have to choose an integer number for relatives. Um, and now you can see that Eric predicted survived for this particular person and it pinned it to the clipboard on the top right. Um, and what I want to do now is I want to ask Eric, why did you predict that? And Eric will now calculate and use the anchors algorithm and the anchors algorithm uh, outputs a rule and this rule describes the boundaries under which the current prediction remains stable, which is female and class equals first. So it also asks us whether we should ask for another explanation. And in this case we say yes and Eric chooses a different approach. So we are somehow in the loop. And this particular method is called Shapley values and it shows the most influential factors on our prediction. And it shows something that is very similar to the Anchors algorithm. So also sex equals female and P class first were most influential. So we say no, no more explanation. And what we can do now is we can check whether the explanations are actually Correct. So we can do this by typing what if 
So what if the sex was male? And it would reply with a new prediction and you have a new entry on the clipboard and it says that the person died. So what we can do now again, we can ask why did you predict that? And it would again use Shapley values. And if we inspect this diagram, we can see that next to sex equals male, also age plays a substantial um, role here. Um, so we can check that and again type in what if and there's another command actually which says what if x was great or greater or less and now we want to use this one since it allows us to um, check changes in specific features much faster. So we want to check whether the age has a substantial impact on the prediction and as you can see from this diagram is um, that when reducing the age um, the chance for survival is much higher. So we can then again check that um, by changing the age to 10 and as you can see the prediction values switches to survived. So what we just figured out with only a few questions is that the chance for survival is higher if you were female and first class, but it goes down if you are a middle-aged man. And you could continue this conversation for a very long time and there are a lot more commands available in the system that you can inspect. And hopefully over the time you then basically figure out or you get an impression uh, what other influential factors there are for different types of passengers. So maybe you have wondered how the ERIC agent actually works. So what technology performs the user dialogue and the selection of appropriate explanations? ERIC is built as a server client application where the user interacts with the JavaScript frontend, the one that you just saw in the demo. So when entering a message into ERIC, for example, if you ask the why question, the client sends a message to the controller, which is basically a Python program in the backend server and sort of the interface for communication between, between the user and the main program. The controller then turns the message into a so-called fact. The reason for this is that Eric holds a rule-based system, some might also say an expert system, that is programmed in a logical language called Clips. So for those who don't know, a rule-based system is a program that basically consists of pre-scripted if-then rules that are executed when certain pieces of information enter the system, which are the fact that in our case, the controller adds to the system. And the controller can now add new facts, new pieces of information from the dialogue with the user to the system. And by doing this, it changes the system state and would trigger the execution of rules in the rule-based system that would execute some subsequent system action. And this system action can be the execution of a Python function. So the server backend also holds things like the machine learning model that we try to explain as well as training and test data and also techniques for doing explainable AI. So the rule system can use the results, for example, some generated explanations to create a message that it wants to send to the user. And for this, it contacts the controller, which is then responsible for transmitting the message to the user. And so this conversation can potentially go on forever because the user can then reply on this message and so on and so on. So what does this all mean for extending existing functionality in Eric? Well, you could implement your own rules and corresponding Python functions to add new question types to the system. The rules would then run independently of the existing rules in the system, but you have to really learn both the Python language and the Clips programming language. So we created an alternative to, to this. Basically, you can make use of so-called Eric extension objects, which are Python objects, so extensibility by only using Python language. For example, here we created a simple Eric extension what it does is very simple. It requests the values for some variables x and y from the user and adds them together. So first you define a Python function that performs the addition 
of the two numbers and then you create an Eric extension object which gets a couple of parameters. For example, you can determine what message is written into the chat window or what arguments the function requests from the user. So when starting the Eric program, the system automatically scans through this object and generates the rules for us that guide the dialogue. Of course, you can also have sort of more complex functionality. For example, here we implemented feature importance for the machine learning model so that you can ask Eric how important the features of the model are. And it also accesses the training data and the machine learning model within the Python code that you implement, meaning that you have always full access to things like that from your code. So we evaluated Eric in an initial qualitative user study to get a first feedback on what we are doing. For this, we found five people which had no experience in explainable AI, but they certainly knew how to deal with chat programs from their daily life. And these people were basically tasked with figuring out how the model on the Titanic dataset behaves. I will first present the advantages that we see in the Eric agent and then come to the challenges that are open for future research. So one advantage that we saw from the user evaluation was that Eric allows you to structure your exploration of the model. So you can go through different passenger instances step by step and really build up a mental model of the machine learning model in your mind. Another point that people highlighted was that they could request explanations on demand, which is great if you are only interested in specific data instances and value ranges, and you're not confronted with information uh, you are currently not interested in. That points to another advantage, since Eric performs this explanation selection, people would not get overloaded with information, as with other interface types such as dashboards. Talking about the challenges, some of the participants had problems with fully understanding certain explanations such as graphs in Eric. So interpretation and explanation support that allows people to figure out what a certain explanation really wants to tell them is open for future research. Next, several participants mentioned that it would be great if Eric supports more data and more model types in the future. So currently for this first prototype, Eric only supports classification models for tabular data and we should really extend that in the future. So here's what we have done so far in this project. We implemented a first prototype with the Eric agent. We also did a first user evaluation on five people with promising first results. Next, outstanding is the improvement of explanations and also the extension to more data and model types. So I hope you liked it and let me know what you think about it.